Hey everyone, welcome to Nintendo Prime, and this is going to be sort of a single topic video. However, I'm going to throw something else in there just briefly in a moment because Nintendo did drop a massive overview trailer for a big game coming up. So I want to make sure that people are aware of that and go check it out if they would like to. But before I jump into that, hey, welcome everyone. We uh, are about to talk about a major Nintendo IP coming back to Switch according to an extremely credible leaker. Stay tuned. Editor, hit that. I meant to say hit that intro, but you know what? One thing we are going to hit up quick is I'm going to remind you guys that, hey, you know what? If you uh, want to really, really support our channel, you know what the best thing you can do? Drop a like on this video. That would just be swell. Now, another thing that you can do is enter a giveaway. We have a giveaway going on down in the pinned comment and the description. This is just something I'm doing for you. It's a $300 item based around the original Game Boy it's very hard to get into a description of exactly what this product is. You just got to go check out the giveaway. There's some images included with that giveaway. I wish all you guys luck. I just ask you to be subscribed to the channel. To, it's not you know a big ask, I don't think. It's a giveaway for my subscribers. Now, let's get into this news. And let's start first with the little bit of an amendum, the second story that I wanted to add to this, just because this happened this morning, and I think it's a cool thing. And that is because Nintendo has dropped an eight-minute overview trailer for Xenoblade Chronicles 3. So yes, this includes voice acting and story details. And hey, if you are looking for some big information on Xenoblade Chronicles 3, this is the video to go watch. So go check it out. I'll put a link down in the description because I do think that this is worth checking out. It'll be the top link in our sources section. Again, not spending a lot of time on this. You saw a couple clips of it here. I just want to make sure you guys are aware that this is out there so you guys go check it out for those of you really looking forward to the game that don't care about spoilers now moving beyond that we need to actually talk about our big topic here and that is nintendo supposedly bringing back a massive ip from their back catalog that they haven't touched in forever to nintendo switch and we're not quite sure what form this will take but what we do know is that an insider a leaker Someone who's actually been crap talking fake insiders and fake leakers has put this information out there. And let's actually dive into it right now. So here we see Silex Hunter, or just Silex. This is an account that was interviewed by Switch Force uh, a few days ago, talking about, well, you know, all things leakers and, and Galactic Federation and taking out Samus and getting into a cryptic uh, hint at a new something coming down the line. And you note here, I have been interviewed by Switch Force about video game leaks and my hatred for the Galactic Federation scourge. I was also asked to give a cryptic hint, which you can see in the video. Now, notably, Silex has gotten a lot of credibility over the last month because they knew the exact date for when Bayonetta 3 was going to come out. They knew when the Bayonetta 3, Bayonetta 3 news was going to drop. And they actually got like five other things right. They haven't posted anything yet that hasn't come true. Now, so I like to know that nobody has been able to interpret the code successfully so far. I don't normally like to be cryptic, and I'm only doing this because I was asked to. Silex has been very direct with all other leaks. I will watch and see what you come up with, Silex out. Uh, Nate the Hate comes in here, another well-known insider to show camaraderie due to your acknowledgement and positive words in the video. Because they did say positive things about that now this is where we get into somebody who actually figured it out someone who made a new account on twitter specifically because they figured it out uh the cryptic code uh meant ygbp or you got boost power which is from f0 gx that is the gamecube f0 game so silex said you need to make an account just to tweet this and they said i felt the need to reply so yes uh well you were right you win nothing but well done and then they said, that's great. I've been waiting for an F-Zero game since GX. At the same time, I never thought it would happen again. And then Silex says, hey, maybe manage your expectations. But yes, you were right. Now, this leads you to wonder, why do we need to manage our expectations? And maybe it's because this person, you know, who got this 
you know, hint right at a future game, was expecting there to be a brand new F-Zero game. Because, again, I've been looking for a new F-Zero game since GX. Well, maybe it won't be new. Maybe it'll be a remake or remaster of the current F-Zero GX. It's also notable, Silex didn't tell us when this game is coming, when to expect it, when we're going to see it. It's not like Jeff Grubb who went out there and said, hey, I'm going to shave my head if Metroid Prime Remaster doesn't come out this holiday. That's how sure he is of Metroid Prime Remaster coming out this holiday. He's not doing that. And Silex probably would have never even teased this until it was much closer to release or reveal if it wasn't for that interview and the question that was asked. Again, Silex, if you look at prior things Silex has said, like if we just go back in the account, uh, you'll see that they're very direct about their leaks and very direct about fake leakers, like when they go after Samus Hunter here. Uh, but yes, like Silex has agreed to be interviewed by one of your Earth YouTubers, which should learn more about the galaxy's coolest bounty hunter and maybe some other things. Watch this, video. dude. I love how committed they are to this uh, and trashing other ones. But if, if you go back in time, you'll see this like Band of Three will release in October. This is uh, October 28th. This is posted all the way back on June 25th. So as I said, Silex Hunter is very direct in how they leak things, which is what makes it so interesting. This is a very indirect leak which I think really just exists because Switch Force basically asked him to create this sort of, of crypticness. So I don't expect uh, Silex to actually go out there and clarify any of this until much closer to when this could be happening. Some people have speculated that this does mean F-Zero GX specifically is coming back, like the OG, a.k.a. GameCube, is coming to Nintendo Switch Online. None of us actually know what this means but Silex. But yeah, Silex did note in that interview that uh, he really only puts information out that he knows to be correct rather than information that he's heard but can't verify will ever actually be a thing. So the fact that he was willing to throw F-Zero out there means that this is highly likely something Nintendo's doing in some form, and the reference was specifically to the GameCube one, which again, that gets to the remake or remaster or the Nintendo Switch Online, or maybe that's just a reference in general to F-Zero, and that just happened to be the F-Zero game part of the reference. Again, though, Silex is pretty direct, so probably has something to do with F-Zero GX in some form, in some way, but it's all speculation at this point. And I, this is one thing I find really, really interesting about uh, leak culture, and we're actually going to dive deeper in this Tonight on the Nintendo Prime Podcast, we have a first-time guest coming on tonight in some bro nation, another fellow a Nintendo YouTuber who does cover a lot of the leaks and rumors like I do, and we're going to get into a deeper conversation on this. I've also got a community poll running right now in our community section to get your guys' feedback. I want you guys to think about this stuff and how much you enjoy it, and we're going to have a, a grander conversation about this kind of stuff. By the way, this conversation doesn't mean I'm going to stop covering leaks or rumors if we decide that they're ultimately a bad thing. It just is one of those things where I, I want to have an open conversation with other people who do what I do, and I think this is going to be a really great opportunity to do just that. We also have some other topics we're going to be talking about, including the way Nintendo's choosing to market games this month, and hey, is this like how Nintendo's going to handle directs moving forward? I know it's a bit of an overreaction to say this right now. I'm mostly pointing out that maybe there's some merit to Nintendo not doing a direct versus what they're doing now. We're going to dive deeper into that on the podcast tonight as well. And yes, we're going to touch upon future uh, Nintendo hardware. No, I said Nintendo hardware doesn't have to be Switch hardware. Uh, we're going to have a very interesting conversation on that tonight as well. Be sure to tune into that podcast at 8 p.m. Central Time. Hopefully it's even set up before this video goes live. So you guys already probably got a notification for it or can go set your notifications for it. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Rubblejance from Nintendo Prime. And you know what? I'm going to catch each and every one of you in that next video, whether it's later today or tomorrow or it's just the podcast. Hey, I have no idea. The news comes as the news comes.